I'm now going to teach you what I call a meta concentration technique. So here's an advanced concentration technique for powerfully gathering and immediately focusing your will. But also it has a transcendental gateway that it opens. So it's a perfect segue into meditation and realization. And it is essentially simple, but it takes a little bit for you to understand what I'm suggesting. But once you see it, once you're able to find that click, find that switch, find that ability in your own direct experience, it's going to quantum leap your efforts. So the meta concentration state can be summed up as follows as an instruction. Concentrate on being concentrated. That's it. I'll explain what that means. In different ways, so you get a sense of it. I wrote here, concentrate on the sense slash image slash awareness of yourself being in a state of powerful concentration. See yourself being super undistracted focused on an important object of concentration. Feel yourself in that state of concentration. Notice the state of being concentrated. You can first just try it with any object that has a form to it that you can focus on. So by that, I mean, first focus on an object and then focus on yourself being focused on that object. This is the meta. This is the step beyond your current state. This is why it's also a segue into self realization. So begin by concentrating on an object with form. Concentrate on the white cloud, for instance, since you're already familiar with that, or any object of your choosing that you feel attracted to concentrate on. If you are not attracted to any particular object, symbol or state of mind to focus on, then just focus on the image of that single white cloud hanging weightlessly in the empty clear blue sky. Once you are focused on that cloud, so you can do it now as I speak, take a deep breath, relax, and just, if you need it, Repeat to yourself a few times, I don't need anything from anything. I don't want anything from anything. Everything I seek is somehow always already here. So I don't need anything to change. I don't need anything to change. I don't need anything from anything. I don't even want anything from anything. Why would I? <sighs> and feel the sigh of relief, the relaxation. Notice that maybe you were holding some tension of trying to get somewhere. And less and less, there will be a paradox in that for you. So I can talk about very goal oriented things sometimes, very sort of high performance results driven efforts. And yet the paradox that seems to currently be a contradiction to that will more and more dissolve the more you practice those preparatory attitudes without trying to give it any logical meaning, but just resting in that natural restfulness of not needing to need anything from anything. Again, with practice, this paradox will be resolved for you. It will no longer be an issue for you. Now, once you are focused on that cloud, picture the cloud, even feel the cloud from all sides simultaneously, which is a little hard to do visually, but you can do it if you kind of drop your insistence on the visual aspect of the cloud, it can still be there, but pretend almost like you are the cloud. What would it feel like to be the cloud? What would that feel like? Be the cloud. Like Yoda says.
And as you start to feel that sense or stream of concentration arise, now while maintaining that concentration on the object or simply allowing that concentration or that sense of the cloud to be there, just allow the sense, the picture, the feeling of the cloud or your chosen object to be there, simply allow it to be there. Zoom out as if you're stepping out of that bubble of yourself as the subject that's being focused on the white cloud as the object. And shift your awareness to the state of concentration itself. Again, this is an advanced technique. If you don't quite understand this yet, just give it some time. Once you do, is it going to be super powerful for you? Just trust the process. Try to receive what I'm saying here. Don't think too hard about it. So now the object of your concentration shifts from the white cloud to yourself immersed in a state of concentration on the white cloud. But now the white cloud kind of takes a backseat because what you're focused on more is the feeling, the awareness of yourself as an entity, as a being, as a person, you could say, as a mind, being in a state of concentration. So now you're actually concentrating on being concentrated on what that feels like, what that looks like, what that is like. So in this way, you allow yourself to more and more rapidly activate a state of concentration or absorption by being concentrated on being concentrated. Simply witness your mind being concentrated. Develop um, a sensitivity and awareness of what that feels like, so to speak. What is it like when the mind is in a state of concentration? Once you have that frequency, just like dialing your radio tuner to the proper frequency until it clicks in, you receive that frequency and the music of that station starts playing. It's a little bit like that, or it's like recognizing a certain flavor amidst other flavors or fragrance amidst other fragrances, or tasting a certain flavor, being able to isolate a certain specific flavor or spice in um, a full arrangement of flavors. It's a little bit like that with concentrating on a certain thought or frequency or state. So see if you can develop a sense of what it feels like when you as a person are immersed in a state of concentration. What does that feel like? So that you're zoomed out while you as a subject, as a mind, are in a state of focus, in a state of gathered will, in a state of concentration. And now you are actually in a sense beyond that or above that aware of that flavor, that frequency, that signature feeling of being concentrated. So now you're concentrating on being concentrated. That becomes the object of your meditation. So this is what I call meta concentration. And it is an extremely helpful state to rapidly empower and strengthen your will and it is one of those secret keys not often taught that opens gateways to meditation and self-realization much more rapidly than regular concentration alone can do by itself. So regular concentration is I'm identifying myself as the subject, as the mind, just my automatic day-to-day -day experience. And now I'm choosing to focus my mind on an object. That's regular concentration. But now, having developed a sense of what it's like to be in a state of concentration, I can shift my awareness to that feeling, that frequency, that state of being concentrated. 